Hey, how are you? Okay. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Lily. Hey. How are you guys? Okay. So, hi, how are you? All right. So, I'm going to... Hey, Debbie. Hey, manicures of the day. Hey, Antoinette. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the stream to a bunch of people or whatever. So if you guys would share the stream, that would be totally amazing. Then I will be able to reach more people that need to see my videos, which I would super duper appreciate. So it's just going to take me a few minutes and then also help people, you know, get on here and, you know, that sort of thing. So... We're going to do three different designs today. Let's see. This one. Okay, cool. Hey, Raina. I think it's the first time that you got in here. Right in the beginning. I didn't even start nothing yet. Hey, Brad. Okay. So, I'll stick this one in there. So, I have a few things to touch base on, of course. Um, Medusa is having a sale right now. So, I think the code is LIVE20. So, if you use my affiliate links in my bio, I will get credit for the sale. And I would super duper appreciate if you did do that. Um, this way, Medusa knows who sent you. So, that would be great. Um, we also did these awesome, well, I shouldn't say these, we did this design. So this was the template that I used. Hi, Bonita. Hi, be blessed. And I did this one, um, on their live. I'm going to try to adjust the light. Hopefully we can get, um, better lighting in this. I'm trying to find like my angle, like what I had before, but it's like every time that I try to adjust something, it just doesn't work properly. So ooh, maybe right here is good. We're about to see. So, yeah, that looks good. All right. So, anyways, so you can see this awesome design on uh, Medusa HQ's channel. So, you can totally see that. I'm going to be doing this one today. Everybody was requesting me to do this rug design. So, I will be doing this, obviously, in a different color as well. Um, Don't Fall Collection is the new collection. So, you can totally use that. I'm going to be using one color from the Don't Fall Collection today. So, that is... 218 it is patagonia but i'm gonna incorporate some other colors and stuff um today but all of these that i've made here are only with the don't fall collection from medusa so make sure you use them the affiliate link in my bio in order to purchase so super duper appreciate that um another thing is you can find my gem and charm gel and my sticky foil gel on expressclaws.com as well as a super duper awesome plate that you see me have right here comes in pink this gray color and there's another one it's over there i'm not even going to grab it but it's super cute too hey live brass um next thing is still have my super online classes on my teachable link you can find link in my bio another thing is my amazon store i just uploaded these into my amazon store so if you guys are looking for some new fun goodies for the fall this is where you should get it. Look at how cool those are. It's kind of like pink, but it's kind of like a purple, but I mean, whatever. I don't care. They're cute. So I loaded them into my Amazon store. Another thing that I loaded into my Amazon store are these opal drops. So pink doesn't look pink, but th these are pink. These are white. So they are pink and white, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it in my camera. So just FYI, I think it's about like $10 in my Amazon store. You can find them there. Um, link in my bio or down below. And, okay, so this is what I wanted to find. So, back in, I don't know, I travel a lot. So, this is great, like, when I do travel and stuff. So, this is what I, um, hey, how are you? What I keep, like, my, um, my nails and stuff in, like, when I do travel. So, here's my old one so you guys can see it. Okay, 
So I've got like tack and stuff in it. I have like little nail tips and stuff, but there is a piece missing actually. So there's a little, hey sassy melanin, this piece here is what I was missing. Okay. So this piece, as you can see, is <laughs> it's defective a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So this magnet or whatever. So I have to stick it in there. This happens sometimes. I'm not even worried about it. But the reason why I'm showing you this is because this is great to um, do like when you have like the single tips. So this is the tips that I'm talking about here. The single ones is way you can put it like on the plate and stuff. So this is great. But so I ordered a different one also from Amazon. I kept it in my Amazon store because maybe that's something that you guys want. Um, but it's this one. <laughs> Look at how huge this is. So this one is super duper big. This one is super small. So this way it shows you like how small it is. Um, I prefer the smaller one because I can go like this. I can hold it if I need to. I can just hold it into my hand um, and work off of this, which is nine times out of 10 is what I prefer to do. But if I'm going to be working on it a long time, I prefer to hold it onto this little guy here. So the magnet goes in here and then I stick this guy on top of here so I can hold it easier, right? Um, the bigger one though, that's why I like didn't ship it back because like the bigger one I still think is good because then I can fit more stuff in it. So what I want to do is I end up having like my tips for like the week or whatever it is that I'm doing. And then, oh here, this way you guys can see. So you can see like these ones are different. So this one has like this little thing, but basically this just goes like right on top of there. Okay. And then you just hold it right here. So this way you have like your, your tack, you put your tip on it or whatever, but this is great. Cause then I can just throw all of my tips for like the week or whatever. And I put it in here. So before, before I had this, I had an Altoids container like so. So this way you guys can see like my, um, Altoids container and has all sorts of like different fun, um, nail tips. So like even, even when I did like that butterfly nail, um, I use some removable stuff in there this way I could uh, remove it and keep this forever because why not I mean look how pretty it is but you can keep all of your like little nail tips from different classes and stuff that you do in here I'd basically keep them in here until I can put them into my portfolio box so this is just definitely like another option you can see that this one's not quite finished I need to rematch coat around it but whatever um and these are sometimes from like different classes and stuff that I teach all sorts of different things, but all of this, you can see how small this container is compared to, um, and Raina actually took this class. So she knows which one that this is. Um, but I mean, this would definitely fit in there and then some, so <laughs> depending on how many different like nails and stuff that you do, you know, will depend on, this one's not finished either. Definitely need to like redo the nose, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, but depending on how many ones that you do, you can just keep it in here. So, okay. So now that I'm like talking everybody's ear off about like different ways that you can have your tips. Cause I mean, you know, that's not nerdy or anything. I'm going to move on to the tutorial portion of this. So super glad that everybody could join me here today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these things here and show you guys basically. Oops, tack. So, hi ICJ. Put the tack on this. Like so. And then I have my nail tip here. And you just stick the nail tip on there. Well, thanks, Libras. I super appreciate it. I mean, I can talk about, like, even the simplest things, like, for a long, long time. So, I just have to, like, cut myself off because I'm like, man, you just need to shut up and, like, get it moving. All right. So, this is the new one. So, oh, I should just do that because I know it's a new one. So, move on. Moving on. All right. So, I want to, I want to do this design that I did for um, my friend tonight because it turned out like so, so good. So I have one of OPI's iconic colors on here. And of course it like appears to be black or whatever. 
on here, but it's not. This is called uh, Lincoln Park After Dark. So you guys can see. It's like a... I don't even know. It's like purple, brown situation, whatever. So, uh, live rest. So, actually, I was looking for them. So, I'm going to continue to look for them because I'm pretty sure that's where I bought them the last time. But it doesn't seem to be in my purchase history. So, I'm going to find them and I'm going to put them up there for you guys. So, that'll be happening sometime this week. Um, anywho, so I'm going to do a... The way that I perceive this design as was marble geode situation whatever it's pretty regardless of anything all right so i'm gonna take my uh little palette you can find this on expressclaws.com it's usually not all this white but this was like the little defect one defective one so um i brought in also what's great about these is look at that you see that right there super fancy so it's not going to you know, give that like nail on the chalkboard feeling or sound like when you set it down somewhere and you're just like, Ugh, who wants to hear that? All right. So I'm going to take number one, Flying Nimbus. Thanks, Live Ross. Um, Flying Nimbus. Let me see. Where's that? Take my arrow tool and I'm going to draw some like lines. I'd say at least two lines because I'm only doing like one thing or whatever. One tip, should I say, not like a few because it's not for a client. Right, and then wipe the end of that off. And then I want to take Lincoln Park After Dark. going to do a couple different ones all right and then where's that other thing that I need of course I didn't grab that and put that to the station one second Next one I'm going to put on is everyone's favorite, 53, which is Amethyst. Hey, how are you? If you guys would share the stream, super duper appreciate it. But this is Amethyst, guys. How are you? Close it on up. And then I'm going to use number 197. So this is satin sheets. Satin sheets. All right. So this is super duper pretty. It's kind of hard to tell. It kind of looks like yellowy, greeny situation or whatever here online. But it actually isn't. Hey, Kristen. Um, it's like a mm, silver, pink glitter shimmer situation so I'm gonna grab this and be even more careful when I put it down because I don't want to contaminate this oops I contaminated it anyway let's pull it out done all right so, before I swirl it and everything, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey, how are you? So, this is it before I swirl it around. So, then I'm just going to take the point end of my arrow tool and go like this and then bring it through like this. Easy peasy. So, base is Lincoln Park After Dark. Now I'm going to take my Artiste Gel. You can find this in my Amazon store. Put my Artiste Gel on. 
there might be a little bit of like flakes or whatever in here so I do apologize for that because I have been using it a lot lately Oh, fuzz random hair out of nowhere awesome just what every nail tech loves okay so close this up I'm going to use my ombre pro brush from crystal nails you can find the coupon code in my bio so now I'm just going to scoop this up so I'm just going to scoop it up so the next thing is to grab it pull it through it's a little bit extra up here so I'm going to so a little extra dimension to the design can grab some of this purple situation super cool so super easy, right? Okay. So now I'm going to cure that for at least 30 seconds in an LED. I'm using a Sun UV 2C. You can find this and link in my bio. Hey Nini, how are you? Thank you, Nails Makeup 2020. Thanks, Stina Marie. Thank you, Kristen. Okay, so I'm just like wiping my brush or whatever. So I mean, this is, oops without sticking your finger in it like I just did. So on my friend's nails, uh, this amount will do like four nails. So at least. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to just clean my finger and clean this palette with some alcohol. So super duper fun. Next thing that I want to do really quick is uh close this up usually clean my brush but i'm not with it today so we're not doing that i'm going to take a striping brush so this is a little it's like medium but it's not like super short it's not super long so i'm going to use that satin sheets color again and i'm going to add more of this just to the outside areas that I want to accentuate okay you can do some to like um, the inner parts or whatever of it as well but that's totally up to you I like super duper love this when I did it tonight. So I was like, I have to show you guys this because it's just so beautiful. Okay. Super cool. Now I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Close it on it up. Next design I'm going to show you guys is the, is this print here. Okay. So I have my nail tip here, right? So we have the other one curing. So I'm going to use uh, one of my favorite colors. This is blush from Luxio. Oh, definitely. I would definitely hope that you would live brass, honestly. So blush from Luxio is um, my favorite nudie pink. And uh, Luxio is 100% pure gel, guys, just FYI. And the reason why I'm stating that is because I'm going to add a lot more 
like so. So when I do this for a client, I'm doing it one finger at a time. But I don't have to worry about it wrinkling like that because it's pure gel. So I'm gonna stick that in, needs 30 seconds, cured. Okay, so this is how this looks before I put on the top coat. I'm going to be using uh, Medusa's High Gloss Top Coat. It's super awesome, guys, if you have not tried it. I think you have the opportunity in order to, it's so hard to see because the dang bottle is so shiny. Hey, Vic. So, I think you get some top coat for free with some of the packs and stuff right now, which is super great. So, just going to top coat it. So it's like amethyst, geode, goodness. So make sure if you want any Medusa products that you head on over there using the link that's in my bio. Super duper appreciate it. Or down below, wherever it is that you happen to be watching this awesome video. I'm definitely going to try to, Stina, save the live, but you know, sometimes Instagram has us on mine, so I always be pressing the save button to save it, but you know, there has been instances where Instagram was like, nope, I'm not saving nothing, so I do apologize for anything that does not get saved, but you know. Just cleaning this brush, if anybody's wondering, because we're going to do the other one. just 99% alcohol all right so this is what this looks like blush so the reason why I like blush is because this is honestly such a great nude like I mean look how great that that would look on me for like a French or an ombre or whatever um, it's also great on darker complected skin tones like it's literally like a good nude for honestly everybody so Going back to this design, I want to incorporate some purple. So what I want to do, I want to use number 218, uh, Patagonia. I'm going to grab um, my rose gold brush that you can find in the set on the Amazon store or whatever brush that you have. Doesn't really matter. Hey, how are you? And I'm just going to make a line so to go across So just like so, just trying to make the color kind of even, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because I'm going to be um, putting stuff on top of it like this, so you don't actually have to worry about it so much. So, hi, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. Anybody that's new, please share my live, I would super duper appreciate it. Uh, I think I want to keep this one out actually. Yeah, I think I will. So I'm going to take my arrow tool and I'm going to put some on my mixing palette here. I think I might need two blobs, so I'm just going to take two blobs. <laughs> Such a technical term, guys. Don't forget that word blob, okay? So. All right, so this is the one that we just did. So anybody that is new coming on, we just did this one. So make sure that you come back to watch it from the beginning so you can see exactly how we recreated this. Super duper great, cute. It's like, honestly, like hopefully I can get a good picture later because there's honestly like so much uh, depth and dimension into that, so. All right, so I'm going to use white in one of them, one of the blobs, <laughs> like so, mix that up. Cool, next one, I'm going to 
mix some amethyst. I'm going to put some amethyst down here to have, and then I'm going to put some amethyst on this one to mix it. So. So it needs to be a little lighter. I'm gonna take some of this one and mix it in there. There we go. Oh yeah, that's cool. Even better. I want to make sure there's good definition in that. All right. So. Close your brush up and don't put the wrong cap on it because that's what I almost did. So, yay me. All right. So, I'm just going to use that same brush, that little liner brush or whatever. Oh, that's awesome, Sassy Melanin. So, back at this. We are going to be making little hatch marks, V patterns into this. So, you can see it's roughly the same outline or whatever. So I know I can do two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this middle color here and I'm going to make the first set of V pattern. Okay, so hatch it down. Patch it down. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go back and touch it up. But basically, not a straight line. Just doing this V pattern. Okay. And this is like a messy style design, so you don't have to put down a matte coat. So that's kind of cool too. And doing the same basically mirroring that next pattern so you can see it's like a grid now hey how are you sorry Nini Okay, so I'm just going to thicken up little areas or whatever, basically making everything as cohesive as possible. Okay, cool. So this just needs flash cure for like 10 to 20 seconds. Hey, how are you? So, take this out. So now we're going to be doing the inside of this here. So these colors. So we're going to do this light color here. We're just going to touch. You guys can see better with this one. Touch, touch, touch. So basically, I'm just making little lines. Then I'm going to skip a row and then I'm going to do the second one. The 
this is, imagining that this is down here. You know, part of doing nail art is definitely like imagining certain things. So it's important. I know um, even some clients and stuff, it's a little bit hard and they uh, can't imagine certain things, but just kind of have to make them try because we can't have samples of absolutely everything it is that we do. So another 10 second cure at least, okay. Yes, I did design all of these nails. I made all of these. Hand, hand painted all of these. So if you guys want to see this pattern, so this is the one that I did off camera and this is the one I did on camera um, for Medusa HQ Live. So you can totally find that there. Making with the um, Don't Fall collection with Medusa paints. So you can find that there. Make sure that if you do purchase any type of um, Medusa gels that you do so with the link in my bio so I get credit for the sale. So super duper appreciate if you guys did that. So here's the next thing. Thank you so much. So now, okay, so now we're here. We did this. Now we're going to do the inside here. So I'm going to use this color here. So the amethyst color to do on the inside. So basically now I'm going to imagine that this color on the inside is this color that we just painted. So I'm going to start from the center like so and drag it out okay just like so same thing but I mean you can do these with anything any colors that you have practice or whatever that's super fun you know cool another 10 seconds thank you guys so much thanks Nini okay do I have no I don't have any clear on here Okay, so it doesn't matter. Next thing that I'm going to do is the detail pattern right here and the little tassels. So that's super, like, super easy to do. So I'm going to take that light color here that we mixed and I'm just going to make the line. Now, mind you, it's like a rug, so it doesn't have to be perfect straight. I don't want it to be perfectly straight anyway. So I just envision this being like kind of like a rope. This can cover up some imperfections too. So the next thing I'm going to make the tassels, so kind of start with my center tassel first because I want to try to do like three. Hey, how are you? Um, so make our little bulb and then bring it down like so, okay? Same thing over here and then bring it down. It goes off the nail, doesn't matter. Imagine that it continues. Okay. I'm going to make the little circles in between. So these are like little circle details. Poking through. Now we're going to turn this and we're going to make the little, little wispies out of here. So I'm just imagining like a hair, hair is just coming out of there pretty much. Ok, 
Okay, so now I'm going to just cure that. Also, another 10 seconds. Hey, how are you? Thanks, Nene. Okay, so now we have some additional details that are in here. So that means wherever this orange color was, so that means I'm using the second color, I'm going to be doing that. Just in there, so that means that I'm going to make little C patterns. Like again, like if this was just like a piece of like rope or like fanciness. Then little C shapes in my little round guys here. And then, oops, wrong one. Making this so it looks like it's round. In here. And then now I'm going to add some additional details in. Probably needs about like th maybe three lines, something like that. And just to give the illusion. Thank you. Thank you, me, Princess A. Dulce. I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't speak Spanish, but I can, I've read enough of it to know exactly what you're saying. And I super duper appreciate it. So now back with the, the purple here, and I'm just going to add like my dark spots. So dark lines to kind of like detail it out. Thank you. Hey, Leela. So now I'm going to go around like so. Okay, right, cool. All right. Cure that 30 seconds because I'm going to be putting on top coat next. So definitely want to do that. Ah, it's okay, Kristen. I'm going to try to save it. So hopefully um, it works <laughs> and I save it and it works. Um, I'm going to do matte again because, like, why not? I didn't do matte earlier, so I'm going to do matte now. Why not? Um, so... This is what it looks like with the purple. Super cool. But, I mean, you really only need, like, three colors in order to complete this. And plus a nude, of course, if you want to even count that. So I'm going to use a matte top coat. I'm using um, Koopa's matte top coat. I'm getting Medusa's matte top coat here soon. So I'm, like, excited about that, too. So. I don't know. I'm, like obsessed with different top coats I guess I don't know but if you want to use the exact one that I have you can do so with the link in my bio from my Amazon store okay yes exactly sassy so that needs 60 seconds they say 90 seconds but honestly 60 seconds so Oh, they changed it. So UV light for 90 seconds or LED for 60. So I've always done 60. So that is what it is anyway. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to clean this. And I'm going to, um, because of course we know that I'm just going to stick my hand in it if I don't. So anybody that is just now tuning in to my live, thank you guys so much for joining <laughs> super duper appreciate it if you did share it help me reach new people first design that we did is over here hi how are you so it was like an amethyst 
geode marble style nail. So the second one is in the oven. The third one is right here. This is 218 Patagonia from the Don't Fall collection from Medusa. You can use my affiliate link in my bio. So the right person gets credit for the sale. So super appreciate it. So this is what it looks like, guys. All done. Did it in purple. Looks super sweet. Look, I love the way that that shift because this is like... Uh, it's like a shimmer, I guess. But like, it just looks so cool, Matt. Like, I super love that. So... Whichever. I wish I had another thing, but this way you guys can see it like next to everything. You can see you can have like a really cohesive design. It's never going to be the same. It's going to be similar, but never like the same. Like even when I redid this one on Medusa's Live, um, as you can see, like the tiles that I made are actually smaller than my original one. It was definitely not intentional, but I mean, you know, that definitely happens. So please understand that's always what's going to happen with a uh, hand painted design anyway. So the last one, I decided to do something simple. So hopefully you guys are, um, oh yeah, definitely red rocks would be the same. If anybody's wondering what that is, I have it next to me. So, so you can have it next to me and open it and it doesn't open. That's cool. But this is what it looks like. Anything that has like a shimmer and everything is going to be looking like super duper cool um, when it's matte, so. But amethyst is honestly one of like the most popular colors and I know that it's not just me. I know other people have like purchased it. So if you guys need something for your collection, it is number 53. So Patagonia, that's what I have for the base. I'm just going to be doing a simple... Uh, crystal application because I did get these super duper awesome new crystals. They are in my Amazon store now So I don't exactly know what shape yet. Maybe Maybe I'll do like this. This has like a big like horse eye one and this has like some crescents and stuff I don't know So we're gonna see I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna use These are kind of like purpley pinky ones that you can also find in my Amazon store they are not uh, Swarovski, but they are super nice and blingy, so you can totally find them there. Hey, Sarissa. So, hey, Bonita. I don't know if I said hello, so sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, exactly, Sassy. Yes, Kristen. It is super duper awesome. So what I'm going to use to apply these is going to be my Gem and Charm Gel from ExpressClaws.com. So you can totally find that there, as well as my Sticky Foil Gel, which I'm not using the foil gel tonight, but I will be probably the next one I don't know whichever but this cures tack free you can see how super duper clear this is it's super duper awesome so I'm just going to use oops where are you at can never find the brush so this is the round headed brush from the rose gold brush collection on my Amazon store you can use whatever it is that you have available it's totally up to you so I don't know where I'm putting this stuff. So I'm just going to, I do know that this hair needs to go bye bye. So that needs to go. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to put a coat. Okay. I'm just going to put a coat on everything because I don't know what's going to happen. Now I will be top coating around this. So please keep that in mind. My Gem and Charm Gel does cure tack free in 60 seconds in an LED, but if it is 30 seconds, it is still tacky, which is that's when you want to put your top coat on, okay? All right, so I'm gonna, let me see. I got this thing, I got this little tray. Don't ask me where I got this. I really honestly don't remember. So I'm going to, what do I wanna use? There's like a lot of options in here. Ooh, maybe I want to use some of these like long ones. Okay, that's cool. I don't want to use this. Of course, I fling it all over the place. Keep that out. Like one of those, one of those. Let's, these are like little leafy ones. Let's use that. Okay, cool. All right. Anywho, so I'm going to use uh, Crystal Picker. You can also find this on my Amazon store too. Works just fine. Oh, sorry, Bonita. It's terrible. 
All right, so I'm going to use also um, these rose gold beads. So if anybody's wondering the size, it's about 0.8. So, but I figured that doing this with those is gonna look cute. So I'm just going to pull that out. Close this up. All right. It kind of seems like I'm feeling purple today, hmm? So, let's move this, because I feel like I have too much stuff that is back here and it's causing a distraction. See, and I'm now I'm dumping stuff. All right. So I'm gonna put this. Oh yeah, this looks really good. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh yes, all right, zooming in. I'm glad that you guys love purple. Honestly, it was like not my, like I was unintentional, but like I'm not like mad at it, that's for sure. So the way that I like to put on stones though is kind of starting from like my larger stones and then I kind of just reach out. I think I will make this like just a bunch of bling. I don't actually even care. I think I just want bling on everything, rose gold beads on everything. So, but it's super duper simple. If you guys want to see how long that um, using my Gem and Charm gel lasts, you can totally do so um, by looking for the post on my IG. It's definitely on there. Lots and lots of people have been very successful with it. By purchasing one of those, you are supporting a small business myself, so I would super duper greatly appreciate it. You're going to love it. Also super great for metals because it doubles as a top coat. So if you did an all metal design, you can totally find that on my IGTV, exactly how I did that. Um, all metal design. And then just use my Gem and Charm gel just to top coat it. It was super cool. And it's super shiny. So if you want to purchase these stones, you can find them in my Amazon store. I think that's what somebody's asking. Sorry, it's hard for me to see right now. Let me see. Oh, so is my favorite. Okay. Bonita. So the stone gel does not need top coat, but um, the problem is, is that it's not going to cover the sides enough. So you're still going to need top coat, but honestly, it doesn't take that long to top coat it. For me, like the longest part is actually getting my design on here the way that I want it because I want it to be, I want it to be perfect, <laughs> but I mean, it does double as a top coat, so it will be a thicker, stickier top coat. If you do not want to put a top coat on it and you have used enough gel as far as um, when you're putting your, your stuff on there, then you don't have to. But I always advocate for using a top coat like around it because it's going to give you extra security. You can find these stones in my Amazon store. You can find the trays in my Amazon store. You can find this picker in my Amazon store. You can find a lot of stuff in my Amazon store. I just updated a bunch of stuff. If there's something that you've been looking for, let me know. I'll try to find it and I'll try to put it in the Amazon store. So it makes it super duper simple for you guys. I'm pretty good at finding stuff, like just FYI. So if you are in need of something like I can definitely help you find it so I think like back to the top coat situation adding top coat is going to be like adding an extra shrink wrap on top of your items to double ensure that they stay put
as much as I would love to say that there is any product out there that you can literally just stick stuff on and then you don't have to worry about it, it's just not true. put this down there. Why not? Why not? I think I'll line this one. knows this placing beads is actually like very therapeutic if you guys are like mad or whatever be sure to just go place some beads it will help you I promise okay so this top coat or this gem and charm gel is I'm talking about top coat so much I'm calling it top coat um kind of thick over here which is fine doesn't matter Now I'm just smushing everything where I think it needs to be before I cure it. So, and I'll show you just another reason why it's good to like top coat stuff. Like once I actually have it all the way cured. Okay, cool. All right, 30 seconds to cure it. So you're very welcome. Definitely, Leela. I think that you'll love it. Sorry, guys. It looks like I'm missing some comments, so that's unfortunate. So sorry about that. Oh my god. Back to the dumping stuff. So you guys know what that means. I'm on a roll. All right. So let me show you guys. See if I can get close. So the reason why it's important to do top coat is because this right here, do you see this? This portion right here, Let's see if I can poke it. Okay, I have my nail art needle. So this, okay, you can see. This is what's gonna get caught. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's gonna get caught. This not so much because it's sliding, sliding off, sliding off. But this portion, anything that right there would Anything that's going to, you kind of have to make like a, a slope or whatever. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to top coat around it. So I'm going to do matte. So I'll show you guys. I'm going to take my palette here and I'm going to take my matte top coat and I'm going to put a little bit on the side. Okay. Put it right there. This way you guys can see it the best. And I'm dumping it again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around it. This is exactly how I do my clients too, okay? So right up by the cuticle is I can't reach it. So that's fine. I'm going to use a brush, okay? And any other place that I cannot reach actually if you ask any of my clients they will tell you this is exactly how I do their nails matte shiny whatever okay so now that's of course the wrong brush yay also the wrong brush again all right so I'm going to take, this is the other little small brush that's also in, um, thank you guys, the rose gold brush kit, but you can use whatever tiny brush it is that you want. 
but basically just to get around here okay so now I'm going to adjust my top coat so this right here is where I needed like the most right so I'm gonna do this on the other side because I needed to make sure that I make that facet good okay just twisting and turning making sure that I have enough product everywhere including like right down here I didn't have enough so fix it on up all right so now the dreaded always question like well when I put my matte top coat on then I have other areas that like aren't shiny anymore hi how are you well, let me show you guys how to do that hey Trish so what I do with that because of course there's going to be parts that aren't shiny anymore you are using matte top coat so don't worry yourself to death with that and don't think that you can't do exactly what I'm about to show you that you're going to do right now. So take some shiny top coat. Okay, put another dollop on there. So take that same brush. Okay, I wiped off the, um, the mat, so this is a nice shiny top coat. Or you can take the, uh, the Gem and Charm gel too, so whatever it is that you want to do. So. This is what it looks like matte, okay? So if you notice, like when I did with the matte and everything, I literally only went around the outside perimeter. This is shiny. Like, why do you want matte on the inside? Who wants to deal with that? So you can see like right here, like it's a little tiny one or whatever. So typically you don't want to put um, shiny on top of like stones, but you can like shine it up. Like if it's that serious, you're going to just shine it right back up. The other thing is that you can go right on top of all of your metals okay back with your shiny top coat just like so you can make your facets just like so it's gonna take a little bit longer of course but like you're not gonna worry yourself to death about this make the new facet so you can really see right over here this is matte let me see if I can get a better view for you guys. But it is matte right there. So you will see that it will just bring the luster right back. Which is good because, I mean, really you need to be doing this anyway. Like, you need to make sure that you're going over all these little metals and everything else. Just like that. Because it's going to prevent them from tarnishing anyway make sure that you're doing that right here right on the side of the stone it's just a little bit mad you just touch it just a little bit it's not gonna kill it if you have a small enough brush it's not gonna matter down here okay you can really see down here where it's matte okay so just touch it right there Easy peasy. It's not a big deal. Right here, there's one little spot. I don't know if you can see it right there. Okay, boom, done. Just cure that. So don't feel like you can't go back and do something like this. You totally can do that. my my messy station you guys so but then you don't have to worry about flooding it all all right so the first design that we did is this one super duper awesome on top of Lincoln Park after dark then I use flying nimbus amethyst and satin sheets on it to make this super duper awesome marble geode style design then i used um flying nimbus amethyst and ah what's the dang name patagonia i knew it was like 
P name to make the rug that everybody was asking about. So there's that. And then the last one, I used Patagonia and then added some bling from my Amazon store as well as use my Gem and Charm gel. So definitely having a purple style night. So make sure that if you haven't already, you can sign up for some of my free classes on my online nail school, link in my bio. So make sure that you hit that. Also, as well as if you wanted to purchase any Medusa gels, you can also find that link in my bio. Um, that makes sure that I get credit for the sale so they know who sent you on over there. So super duper appreciate it if you did that. Um, there's also a crystal nails code if you wanted to get that exact same brush or anything else that I use. I can't even remember what I used. But then I also have my, um, my Amazon store. It has a whole bunch of other nifty things. Thank you so much, Tris. I super appreciate it. Um, of course, if there's also any requests, oh, great, Trish, let me know what you think about it. Would super duper love a review. Um, if there's any other requests or anything that you guys have, I always try to come through for you guys, even if it's like a little bit late or whatever. I super duper appreciate it. So you guys can see like the super awesome bling. I'm going to try to come on here again tomorrow, but we'll just see how it goes, you know, but I'm going to try to save this for you guys. If you share it with your friends, I super appreciate it. And you're always helping me out when you do that. Please understand that even if you don't buy anything, a share goes a long way. So thank you guys so much. And I hope that you have a great night. Bye.